Welcome. This lesson is basically doing the exact same thing we did in the last lesson. We need to calculate the determinant, and then the determinant will determine whether a matrix is invertible or not. And it basically comes down to this. If the determinant is equal to zero, if it equals zero, it is not invertible. Not invertible. If the determinant equals Anything else, it's invertible. Positive, negative, I don't care. Decimals, fractions. If it's not zero, it's invertible. If it's zero, it's not invertible. So basically what we're going to do, now remember, a four, two by two matrix to find the determinant, we multiply the diagonals down from A to D and minus off the diagonals from B and C. So I do zero times three minus zero times 10 which is zero minus zero. And since that's zero, the determinant equals zero, that one is not invertible. Is this matrix invertible? No, it is not. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna simply do that determinant. I'm gonna multiply down like this, zero times zero, minus off, multiply this way, two times 10, I get zero minus 20, and zero minus 20 is negative 20. Now that's not zero. If it's anything else, if it's not zero, if it's any number at all, other than zero, it's invertible. Yes, it's invertible. The only time it's not invertible is when the determinant is zero. So, make this quicker. Two times zero is zero, minus, Zero times eight is zero. Zero minus zero is zero. Since the determinant zero, no, it is not invertible. Zero times zero is zero. Again, multiply down like that. Four times six is 24. Zero minus 24 is negative 24, which isn't zero. So yes, that is invertible. And again, I'm not going to spend much more time doing this. It should be fairly simple to do this. Again, watch your minus signs. Negative 5 times 9 will be negative 45. Now be careful here. Minus off 5 times negative 5, which is positive or negative 25. So I'm adding 25 to negative 40, but that's still negative 20. Negative 20 isn't 0. So yes, it is invertible. When you get to three by threes, do not do those. You do not have to do the three by threes. If you have questions, please bring them to class.